you're doing well as always. Uh, it's another beautiful guitar review day today and you can see a microphone and you can see an acoustic and this is a, a yeah my first acoustic guitar review and it's from my fav uh, favourite Swedish company Hagstrom. Now I've done a, a few Hagstrom guitar reviews now and I must say I'm quite a big fan of the Hagstroms uh, especially like the Viking uh, P I did, uh, the semi-bodied uh, semi electric guitar which I really really liked and this is the first acoustic I played of them. Now this lovely acoustic guitar I have in my hand is the Hagstrom Zillijan Custom Grandatorium. A lot of words there. <laughs> now I'll just quickly throw out the specs for you as well um, but all the links will be in the description box below for the websites for Rosetti's and Hagstrom's main site. Now the body of the guitar on the back and sides is a flame maple which is really nice, got a nice uh, Nice maple grain going on there. And the top of the guitar is a Sitka Spruce. I think I pronounced that properly there. And then starting at the top end, obviously we've got the infamous uh, Hagstrom headstock, which I really, really like. Um, I think it's a really kind of you know, epic design there, actually. I really like the design of that headstock. And we've got the uh, Hagstrom gold tuners here as well, uh, which are actually really good um, tuning capabilities going on with it as well. Now the neck is a maple, maple neck, and it's a set in neck. Uh, with a dovetail joint as well, so it's uh, it's not going anywhere, that's for damn sure. And the fingerboard is the resonator fingerboard, uh, and Hagstrom use resonator fingerboards uh, for majority of all their guitars. I don't want to say all of them, but certainly all the ones I've played. Uh, and a lovely feel, uh, and lovely tone. Set a bad note there, what I just did. <laughs> and obviously we've got block inlays going on on the uh, fingerboard itself, and the purloid block inlays going on there which are great. Uh, I really like the look of block over dot personally. Um, I, I just think it looks classy especially on uh, like an acoustic or a semi-bodied instrument. I think you want block inlays. They just look cooler in my opinion. You know? Now back on the body we've got a very see-through uh, scratch plate and I like this because you can't really see it. I doubt you're even seeing it now from the distance until I do a close-up of it. Now I kind of like that, the fact that it's camouflage in there because sometimes you don't always, I like the look of an acoustic guitar without a scratch plate. Uh, I've got, uh, I do have a acoustic guitar of my own which has a scratch plate, it's cool, but personally I like actually the look without a scratch plate, I think it looks kind of cool. So it's kind of camouflaged in there. Uh, but that, that being said, probably, you know, after years of playing, you'll get all nice <laughs> wear marks and wood being shown there, and that'll be all clean still, you know. So you can always take scratch plates off, obviously. Um, but uh, I like the fact that it's kind of camouflaged in. Now the guitar comes in two different colors. Uh, it comes in a black cherry flame, which I've seen on the website and it comes in this mandarin uh, kind of colour, this kind of orangey, yeah, mandarin, <laughs> orangey kind of colour. Personally, uh, when it first arrived, I wasn't a massive fan of the colour, if I'm completely honest. It's grown on me, uh, but the pictures I've seen online of the black cherry flame, uh, I personally think looks a lot better. Uh, but, you know, horses are courses, you know, some people might prefer the other way around. Uh, but I'm honest, I'm always honest, at first I wasn't blown away by the colour. Um, but it's actually the more I'm looking at it, it's more it's kind of growing me a little bit, you know. But I would probably, if I was if it my money, I would get the black cherry flame. I think it looks kind of cooler. And this, of course, is electric acoustic as well. I should point out with, which I think is really cool, a chromatic tuner on board. Uh, I just pushed the light. You can't see that I just pushed it, but uh, by the magic of uh, technology, now you can see I'm pushing the tuner there. Uh, and also you can see it's just got your standard EQ settings, uh, you know, bass, uh, middle and treble. And it's got a volume knob obviously there. And it's got phase. Uh, at, to be honest with you, I haven't actually plugged it in to a, an amp or a PA uh, as such yet. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm mainly kind of concentrating on the actual instrument on its own without any electric gizmos. But uh, I might plug it in in this video in my amp just to see what it sounds like but I'm mainly kind of concentrating on the, the sounds of the instrument on its own but the fact that it's got a tuner I think is really really handy and lastly I should point out it comes set up with 11 to 52 gauge strings uh, which I guess in acoustic terms that's kind of light to medium gauge um, I prefer 12s but uh, if you're starting out an acoustic guitar 
11s. It's good to start there, if you're, especially if you're used to like nines or something on your electric guitar. Like, oh God, Steve Ray Vaughan territory. Um, but uh, yeah, 11.52, so you get a nice kind of warmer kind of sound. Right, so that's all the boring spec stuff out the way. <laughs> um, so I'll get down to kind of playing it really and uh, see what you think. Like I said, I'm not really going to be looking too much at electric, uh, the electric acoustic side of it. Mainly for the fact that, you know, for an electric acoustic guitar, you ideally want to pull it through a PA or an actual designated acoustic amp. Uh, playing through a regular kind of you know, valve amp or such won't really kind of do it justice. Um, I'll give it a go later and see. Uh, but that's why I said about the phase. I haven't really plugged it in yet, you know. Uh, I've been just kind of concentrating on the sound of the instrument on its own. So uh, in case people start putting in the comment section below, why haven't you put the electric through? Because I haven't got a good PA speaker to put it through, basically, that's why. And also, I just like, when I test acoustic guitars out in the shop, if I was buying it myself, I'd want to hear the natural sound of the instrument, not it through a speaker, so to speak, you know, I like, if it sounds good on its own, it's going to sound great electric, then you know, put it through a PA speaker and electrified. Right, so let's play, so this is acoustic, I'm just going to strum some chords and see what we get. acoustic sound. Um, it's quite a thin toppy sound. Uh, it's not a big thick, no, um, kind of big Martin or Gibson J200 uh, kind of sound. I think it's J200 anyway. Um, it's no, quite a thin toppy kind of sound. But a lot of, you know, if you listen to different recordings, some acoustic guitars have a thick warm sound. Some have that kind of bright uh, top end kind of acoustic guitar sound. You can hear they're using thin picks and stuff like that. A lot of times people do use thin picks when they're playing acoustic guitar for that thinner sound. I'm still using my regular 1.5 Dunlop pick at the moment. Uh, a song what comes to mind straight away which has quite a thin sound is this. Yeah, that song. <laughs> no more than that. I've taught that song so many times I refuse to play it. And a capo can now disappear. Uh, so yeah, that kind of thing, kind of sound uh, you hear in a song such as Wonderwall, this guitar kind of suits it great, you know. <laughs> right, let's funk up a little bit and uh, do a bit more playing. And if I can remember words to songs, I'll sing them as well. <laughs>
course not everything, let's put the pick down, is uh, strummy, so uh, let's hear how it handles some finger style. So when you mellow it down a little bit and do the old natural L way, uh, it actually sounds really nice, actually quite pleasant uh, when you do finger style stuff. And I actually kind of prefer more the sound of it when played a finger, no, finger style, uh, as opposed to when strumming. You know, I still like it strumming. Like I say, it's quite a thin sound. So it's, um, you know, for when I want a thin song recorded in the studio or something, that's when I would pull for something like this, you know. So. You, know, you can get that kind of thin, uh, top end kind of sound. Uh, but and when you do it finger style, it's still thin, but you know it's just got a, a kind of character to it, what I quite like. You know. Those kind of bluesy kind of stuff. Uh, sorry, this is all just now on the camera mic because I've turned this off. Um, but yeah, so the Hagstrom Zidijan Grand Auditorium Custom. No, sorry, Zidijan Custom Grand Auditorium. Uh, that's a lot of words and more for my little mind to work out here. And I've got the tuna on there. Um, but no, it's a lovely guitar. Um, I believe it retails for 589. Like I say, check out the Dark Cherry Burst um, as well on, the, on Rossetti's website. Uh, and you'll see, you know, you can see the difference between this and the, the mandarin kind of colour going on here. Uh, but now let me know your thoughts guys and check one out at you know, your local Hagstrom dealer if you can because it's certainly worth a go and uh, you know, it's a, it's a cool little, a, a cool guitar to add to your collection. Anywho, I've been Mike Bradley and as always I'll see you next time. Take care. But wait, there's more. I promised that I would do a little bit of a, the electro acoustic sounds of it, so I've just plugged it into my Fender Supersonic and it actually sounds really nice.
now it's really nice and big. Where before, and I was saying, when it wasn't plugged in, obviously just the guitar on its own, it's quite top endy and bright. This is a nice, big, warm sound. So if you're playing live a lot, this is the guitar for you. And I should point out, I'm not micing the amp. This is just all from the camera mic. Now let me push this phase sound. So here's the D without the phase sound being pushed in. It's got a lot more thinner, more mid-rangey, isn't it? EQ settings all at 12 o'clock here. Uh, let's just push the bass up a little bit and the, and the middle. Phase back off, back to that. sounds oh when it's electric when I said before uh, regarding um, you know hearing the sound of the acoustic guitar on its own I still stand by that but plugging this in this guitar really comes alive um, and I hope it's been picked up there just using the camera mic but it really really does so this is definitely an electro acoustic um, no on its own <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it sounds nice, but it definitely comes alive when plugged in and the, and the, and the mic and the pickup and the guitar is uh, activated uh, through a, an amp or a PA. And like I say, this is just a regular guitar amp. really am going this time so uh, hope you enjoy that if you check when he's out in the shop plug it in as well all right so uh, thank you very much take care see you next time